welcome to the Gary Lynch Show with me, Gary Lynch. And these are the stories that piqued my interest today. First up, and a little update, I'll be starting a gaming channel soon with my mate. I'll keep you updated and I'll let you know what the channel name's going to be. I haven't even started the branding or anything like that yet. But just thought I'd let you know now, be prepared to subscribe to my channel if you like gaming videos. And you like seeing me getting scared the shit out of playing horror games. Then I recommend you subscribe to it when it's up and ready. First up, I got a little bone to pick with a fucking TV commentator, Stephen Emerson. I don't know if you've already seen this yet, but on Fox News, he suggested that Birmingham was 100% Muslim and that non Muslims wouldn't dare even go into Birmingham. You silly little prick. I live in Birmingham. Yeah, there's so many fucking white people, other race people who aren't Muslim living in Birmingham. You couldn't get your facts further from the fucking truth, you dumb fuck. And then he goes on to say there's parts in London where there are Muslim police who beat on people who aren't dressed like Muslims. How fucking stupid do you get, mate? With an absolute massive backlash on Twitter against him, he's been forced to apologise and admit he was wrong. He's actually said he's going to donate to Birmingham Children's Hospital. Alright, fair play, well done. It doesn't make up for the fact that you're a fucking Mongol who gets his facts from a Russian TV crew. Get your facts straight before you talk about anything, mate. The scary thing is, right, this geezer actually makes documentaries and is an author. I would fact check anything this did shit says. If he can get this wrong, God knows what else he's got wrong. It's just the fact that people seen this and called him out and his bullshit. If I'd have seen that live last night, I'd have fucking commented on my Twitter, which is at Gary Lynch Show. Follow me on Twitter and I'll follow you back. He's enraged so many people in the UK. Even the Prime Minister David Cameron said he spat at his fucking pose this morning when he had this idiot on the radio. And I really feel sorry for his publicist who's had to fucking clean up his shit. You're an absolute moppet. And I hope you see this fucking video. Video. If anyone knows him or has his Twitter, send him this fucking nice little video so I can tell him personally you're an absolute cunt. <laughs> Rant over. And next up, Jewish Neighbourhood Watch has actually set up more patrols in London after the recent terror attacks in France. They've got up to 80 volunteers. They've even got a car that's designed to look like a cop car. And if you haven't seen, world leaders have joined in protest today in the march of defiance against these dirty terrorists. Them along with over 1 million people marched to show they won't be scared and they won't back down from terrorists and fair play, if I was in France, I'd be joining them side by side. But fair play, they had a minute silence before the march in remembrance to the people who died in those terror attacks. 17 people lost their lives. And a special edition of Charlie Hebdo will be printed this week with over 1 million copies being produced. And it will feature several drawings of the Prophet Muhammad. Not in a way to slay any non-violent Muslims, but in a way to stand up to these terrorists and show that their actions won't scare anyone. They're a bunch of cowards. And next up, paleontologists have made a massive discovery. They've actually found fossils which date back over 170 million years ago and it's actually related to the Loch Ness Monster. The new species of Ichthyosaur, it's a dolphin-like marine reptile which grows up to 14 feet long. That's one big boy. And it was discovered around the Isles of Skye, leading more people to speculate the Loch Ness Monster may be more than a bit of fiction. My mate Brendan, he absolutely loves dinosaurs. I mean, you ask him yourself, he'll tell you. He loves dinosaurs, he loves drawing dinosaurs, loves everything about it. And once he sees this video, he's going over the moon. <laughs> and our last bit of news today, an Ohio couple married for 69 years die on the same day within eight hours of each other. Jean and Pat Warrington died on the 27th of December 2014. They eloped as teens before World War II and their son says they were inseparable. Now Jean saw his wife was in critical condition. He was allowed to visit her and he got to hold her hand just before she died. And eight hours later, he's quoted as saying, life would be no fun without his Sorry, this story just got to me. <sighs> He's quoted as saying that life would be no fun without his wife Pat, and he shortly died thereafter. You don't see stuff like that anymore, that's, that's beautiful that is. He left behind three kids, seven grandchildren, and a dozen great-grandchildren. I just thought I had to mention that out there, that is absolutely beautiful. And it's very rare to hear stories like this, and I just thought I'd share this amazing life story with you guys. And lastly, I want to give a massive shout out to my subscribers. You guys rock, man. I absolutely love each and every one of you that come back every day and watch my videos. And I want to give a special shout out to the few who have been there from the very beginning or they've been absolute avid supporters of my show that they've shared it on Twitter. They've actually commented in the comment section and just told me what they thought, good or bad. That's what it's all about. 
And I know a few of you have went a bit quiet recently. I'd love to hear your opinions again. Let me know what you think about the stories and am I doing a good job, a bad job? What would you improve? I'd love to hear it all. Just because I rant on my video doesn't mean I can't take criticism. <laughs> okay, a special thank you to Escaping the Matrix for Good, Stephen C. Rose, Raymond Smith, Lady Grey, Chris Reck, Chris Bennick, William Wade Jr., Pink Martini AZ, and Chevy Games. The majority of you were there from the beginning and you've shown your support and I really appreciate it. A few names on the list are only recent subscribers, but they've been shouting my name onto the rooftops over Twitter. I absolutely appreciate every single one of you. I felt like I needed to do a special shout out to those select names. I really appreciate your support. I hope you stick with me. And that's it for the Gary Lynn Show. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like button. If you really liked it, subscribe down below. If you're already a subscriber though, massive thumbs up for yous. <laughs> Check out my previous video there. Have a good evening and I'll see you tomorrow.